Welcome back. Hello, Professor. I have news. The goblins are looking for something. Another repository. They've built drills to help with their search. Oh, most troubling. Are these repositories like the broken container I found at Rookwood Castle? They are. I fear we have no time to lose. Have a look at the map. Fortunately, the next trial is fairly nearby. It's Hogwarts. As you know, I was headmistress in my time. My portrait hangs in the headmaster's office. In fact, I witnessed Professor Black learn of your arrival. And I'll confess that I wondered about you. Wait, is the next trial in the headmaster's office? It is. I had hoped that when the time came, the occupant of that office would be of help to us. Unfortunately, this headmaster seems wildly unconcerned with anything but himself. You'll need to access the office while he's away. I understand. Very well. I'll find some way to get in. Good. I shall meet you in my portrait there. Until then. How will I gain access to the headmaster's office? Perhaps Professor Fig... Professor Fig, the Keepers have shown me where the next trial is. Has something changed? Lodgok and I have learned that the goblins are searching for another repository, like the one we saw at Rookwood Castle. And I discovered that they're building massive drills to help in their search. Professor Fitzgerald seemed very concerned. I see. Ranrock clearly knows even more than we suspected. And sir, there's something else. Lodgok knew Miriam. He knew Miriam? They encountered each other at Rookwood Castle. She was doing re- He liked her so much that he- I don't know what to say. She could- w I want to hear more- Believe it or not, it's in the headmaster's office. Incredible. Very well, you'll need the password to get past the stone gargoyle. The headmaster's house elf will know it. I don't know- He is. Wait, doesn't Polyjuice Potion require a bit of the person you want to change into? It does. So how do you- one never knows when such a thing may come in handy. Let's just say I felt the need to be prepared for anything after my fruitless trip to the Ministry on his behalf. Now, How do you feel? Uh, incredible. I won't forget that taste anytime soon. <clears throat> How do I sound? Convincing. I've taken the liberty of transfiguring your robes. As we discussed, you'll need the password from Scrope. She's taken to badge... I see. But what if... Leave him to... Thank you, Professor. It's rather strange. Now to find the Headmaster's house elf. Do you have a moment, Professor? Professor, I was hoping to... Oh, I, um, places to be... Of course, sir. Only... I did? I did, yes. Well, spit it out, Sharp. I don't have all day. I assure you, Sharp, you may speak... Very well. 
<coughs> a student. Very well, sir. I do. And thank you, Sharp. Now, to determine which student... Can... You call that a shine on those boots? Do better! I thought I heard the headmaster approaching. I haven't time for any of you at the moment. None. None at all. Move aside. Headmaster? Here, what could he want? Mr. Gaunt, where do you think you're going? I beg your pardon, sir. I'm simply on my... Taking the day off, eh? Typical... St I... I have to write 20 inches on... Ah, yes. Mixed with... Are you feeling all right, sir? I assure you, I am... Has anyone seen my ivory... Professor, a word? Professor Black? We... we... But the injury... Professor, and they are fine now. What nonsense? A silly game. I have a good mind. Good idea. I can... I... parchment. Hmm, I wonder why. What did we do to deserve him as a head? Stand proud, purebloods. <clears throat> the future is yours. No, I think it's the headmaster and he's coming this way. Miss Broom, a word. Oh, Professor, this is in, uh, in... Remind me of your area of affinity. Charms, sir. Non... Well, keep at it, Broom. And... They're not invisible, sir. <laughs> Something seems a little off with the headmaster. Greetings! I mean, out of my way, children. Professor, I need to speak to you. Hello, Professor Black. Ah, Professor Weasley. How, how delightful to see you. Sir? Ah. Oh. I've decided to give him a bit more, uh... Leeway, Professor? Ah, well, yes. I see. I've heard un... to confronting Ranro... <coughs> what? <coughs> Goodness. <coughs> I mean, I shall... I... well, I... Um... Uh, good, good. That'll be... A wonderful job. Leeway for Professor Fig. I shall never understand that man. That ought to give Professor Fig some breathing room. Scroop's as hard a worker as any house elf. Scroop! Oh, greetings, Master. Remind me of the password to my office. Oh, but Master made Scroop swear never to tell anyone, even Master himself. How? Dare you question me? I've a mind to give you a matching set of ears. Uh, uh yes, sir. Uh, it is the Black Family motto, Master. Hmm. Master does remember it. Of course I remember. It's the Black Family reigns. Is Master giving Scrope a test? It's pure bloods forever, isn't it? Uh, uh, close, Master. Uh, Scrope thinks Master is in... <laughs> Obviously. Ah, yes, of course. Oh, but Master knows that... Ha! Ah, thank you. Never speak of this conversation with me or... Of course, sir. Scrope shall try his best to keep out of Master's way. Ugh. The Polyjuice Potion's wearing off. I'd best get out of sight. Ah, <laughs> <sighs> made it just in time. 
It's wearing off. Fig was right. I can't believe it worked. Now to speak the password to the gargoyle. Incendio. Alohomora. What are you up to now? Incendio. Rebellion. You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented blue power. <laughs> Rebellion. Gargoyle. That's where I need to speak the password. Toujours pure. I wonder if all the elite wizarding families have a motto. Rebellion.
It's good to see you. All thanks to Professor Fig's quick thinking. Now what? Approach the pedestal in the antechamber and read the book that appears. What can I expect to find in the book? I suspect there will be more to this than reading a book. Your suspicions... Has this been under the headmaster's nose all this time? Revelio. That must be the pedestal. Where am I? Professor Fitzgerald? Can you hear me? I am here. In this place, you may call me Neve. You shall be witness to a fable. Pay attention. Things are not always as they seem. You must move swiftly and cautiously. Use the tools you encounter to find me. The first you will need is a cloak. In this place, as in life, death takes many forms. Avoid each of them at all costs. Just right. Move while I can. Neve must be here somewhere. I need to time this just right. straight ahead. be able to find me if I go up there. <sighs> uh. 
This is my chance. I'm coming, Neve. Too many. I must cross this road as fast as I can. That's where I need to go, but I need to find a way past them. Nothing this way, but more danger. There must be a way to find you. I need to turn back. There's no getting past them that way. Close tight. No way but forward, I suppose. my chance. They can't see me at all. I can get closer to them. This is the way forward. Finally free. Now where are you, Neve? You have had one death thus far, but have yet to find me. Keep searching, but this time you will be unable to hide. Wield the wand you see before you. Do not squander its extraordinary power. The 
Defender. Protego. Depulso. Descender. Bombada. Defender. Bombada.
Windows. Bombarder. Defender. Stone. This must be for me. You are far from finished. Pass through the mourners ahead. Nothing is what it seems. <laughs> She's gone. Dear sweet me. Let us always on. We won't be the same without her. You found me, but you cannot undo what has been done. The magic of the stone can only conjure a shadow of my former self. But there is no light without shadow as there is no shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Remember that as you witness my memory. Dora, what you did for your father was remarkable. Wasn't it? And Percival needn't worry about the strands of emotion or the traces that this magic leaves. I found a way to contain all of it. You haven't stopped. Goblin Silver. You spoke to a goblin about this. Don't worry, he has no idea what we're containing. We don't know what effect any of this may have. The emotions, the dark traits. You sound like Percival. And as it happens, I do know. It is a source of strength, of focus. Somehow it enhances my ability to wield magic. I don't follow, Isadora. I think we can harness it. Power like this is not to be toyed with in the wrong hands. You saw again. what I did for my father. Only have imagined the good we could do. Everyone is in some kind of pain. Breathe it in. Oh, can you feel it? Oh, it's Adora. This must stop. All of us. You've kept this power to yourselves for so long because you fear it. I choose to embrace it.
Is it true? Has someone completed the first three trials? It is, and I have. But you are so... Young? I know. You must be Professor Bacar. I am. Pleased to meet you. The pensive memory I just witnessed was Isadora inhaling painful emotions. She was. I was amazed to see that it seemed to give her some sort of power and that she could harness it. But how? I worry that you seem more intrigued than Rup. I hesitate to reveal the location of my pensive to someone who, perhaps, has yet to understand. I can assure you, Professor, I do. In fact, what you don't yet know is that a dangerous goblin called Ranrock has accessed the repository at Rookwood Castle. I see. Nonetheless, the knowledge you shall... I shall require time to confer with the... It seems we have no choice. I heard what you told Professor but She was. Monstrous. What's more, she said... The repository. Possibly. Five names. The Keepers. Precisely. If the Keepers won't... Perhaps. I hoped it... Oh, and... I knew it would. 